Tonight, community leaders in Boston are doing what they say police won't, declaring a state of emergency in response to deadly shootings and violence. And they're promising to come up with solutions to make Roxbury, Dorchester, and Mattapan safer. WBZ's Christina Hager's live in Dorchester tonight. And Christina, we heard the commissioner explain today why he doesn't think this warrants a state of emergency. Yes, Lisa, the commissioner says he doesn't want, in his word, to overreact to the latest string of violence by over-policing in this community. But some leaders here are pointing to this crime scene to say this has reached an emergency level. It's a sight that stops people in their tracks walking by. Visible bullet holes where a beloved 43-year-old barber known as Max was shot to death. But it's just normal here, but it's like, it's not normal, you know what I mean? Like, it happens a lot. But... There's always something going on in this corner, so it's like, I'm not surprised. I feel deeply for um, community members who walk down the street and see these, um, these emblems of, of violence. Many of them feeling that there is, um, uh, there is normalcy to this. Now, Reverend Kevin Peterson is officially calling it a state of emergency, something he's been begging the Boston Police Commissioner to do earlier this week, posting this letter at police headquarters pleading for the official emergency designation that could funnel money and resources to the affected neighborhoods. Police Commissioner Michael Cox now finally offering his reaction. State of emergency, that's, that's, we've been through a lot in the city before. If you go back to the history and time or whatever, you, and I don't, I wouldn't say that that's the case. The fact that we, citizens in this, in this city, have to declare our own state of emergency uh, is, is, is appalling. While violent crimes in Boston are down over last year, Deadly shootings are up and hitting people here more than anywhere else. Over 75% of shooting victims since 2015 are black, and nearly 75% happened in Dorchester, Roxbury, and Mattapan. Do you have hope that things could change? Yeah, but the way it is out here, I don't think anything's going to change for real. It's going to keep getting worse. Well, in about a half an hour, Peterson and other community leaders are getting ready to gather at the barber shop here to announce their plans for their own state of emergency and explain what that means. We'll be back with another report at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live in Dorchester. Christina Hager, WBZ News. Yeah, chilling to see those bullet holes in that window there. Christina, thank you so much.